All right, just doing a quick review of this uh, GT Power Remote Control Electronic Switch. Um, it's got a let's see, so it's AliExpress six dollars shipped uh, to the U.S. Um, I paid for the uh, faster shipping option. I think it was like eight dollars total. Uh, it took two weeks, just over fourteen days. Um, control this over a normal uh, PWM control um and supply what does it say uh zero to 40 volts uh input and it can so it says i can switch on the output uh seven amps um so i wrote a quick little let's we'll see if we can get all that in frame there um quick little arduino program to test the thing out it's really simple um to the whole thing uh basically you make a servo object on pin nine um i set up a serial output uh going at 1152 kilobaud um it writes value 100 uh the, the arduino libraries support outputs 0 to 180 degrees um so it writes a pwm signal on the output to 100 degrees um it prints out to the serial terminal that the output is on, waits for two seconds, writes an 80 degree output, says that it's off, waits another two seconds, and then just keeps doing that. Um, so the, I had a separate test program to just verify kind of like what um, PWM limits this thing would turn on and off at. So there's some built-in hysteresis. Uh, it doesn't appear to be calibratable, but whatever. If you had a full-range PWM signal, uh, the uh, high-duty cycle value is uh, going to turn the output on, and the low-duty cycle output value is going to turn the output off as long as it's, uh, I don't know, whatever percentage uh, 80 over 180 is. Uh, that's your off something below that would be your off duty cycle and then uh 100 over 180 would be the uh on duty cycle so it for most cases if you're just fully saturating high or low it's not going to matter anyway so if this is running on um the arduino just like you'd expect every two seconds you get on or off uh here's my arduino uno it's wired up to the switch. I took it out of the case here. Um, 12 volt supply in that goes out to turn these LEDs on and off. So if I turn my power supply on, you can see every two seconds the output toggles. Um, there's also a status indicator on the board here. Um, it's Here's a different one. It's in a completely opaque case, so I don't think you'd ever actually be able to see that, but uh, I don't know. It seems to be working fine. Um, again, the output says it's rated for 7 amps up to 40 volts. I'm assuming there's a, uh, a power rating. It's not really listed here as far as I can see. So you couldn't do... Uh, it'd be very unlikely, in my opinion, that you'd be able to switch 7 amps uh, at 40 volts. Um, but a small load at 40 volts can probably be done, and a larger load at the low-end voltage scale uh, would also work. So that's it.